All right, I just bought some new uh, hijacker shocks from my 2018 Frontier D40. And uh, the difference between these shocks and uh, the factory shocks, here's the factory shock. These uh, hijacker what calls a 5 8 which on both ends on, um, well actually let me back up here. The old trucks were 5 8 on both ends. 2005 and up, it's smaller on this end. So, I just figured out that a piece of half inch copper is the exact same inside diameter and outside diameter as the bolt and the hole. So I just need to find a piece of steel that size. I don't know if the copper will last. But here's the shocks I'm going to use. These are basically designed for an 04 and older D22. This is a D40, 2005 and up in the US. So they're basically the same dimensions. There's like a half inch difference in the overall length. Actually, I think it said they're the exact same. But I'd rather have less than more because, let's see if I can hold these. Can't hold it. I'd rather have the truck lower than taller. It's two-wheel drive. So let's see if I can put these on. Okay, so here's a little problem. I need two washers in here to get the right size. And uh, there's two little dimples on here for, for no one re known, for known reasons. Preventing my washer from sitting down flat. It's gonna modify the washer, but I figure the truck is three years old. It's out of warranty. That looks like this cheap Dana axle is already leaking. I think I got 10,000 miles on the truck. So I think I'm just gonna remove those two dimples so I get a nice washer in there. There you go. The dumps are removed. This little sander is awesome. So now I should be able to get a nice fit in there. So this is the custom adapter. Half inch copper pipe and two half inch washers. Uh, it's perfect for this, uh, it was a 14 millimeter bolt. Perfect fit. So now I'll install the shock. Here you go, you can see the new shock is just uh, the hair shorter. It's 20 and a half. Whereas the 18 shock is like 21 and an eighth. A little over half an inch shorter. Should be fine. I just I just noticed the terrible instructions. Check this out. They say 69 to 81, 710. I'm not that good with the cars, but I know the 720 truck, you know, I had one for 10 years, is 80 to 86 and a half. So it's half ton pickup. But I think there is a 710. I think that was the early name for Maxima. Or was that an 810? And of course the 510. 69 to 73, 510. Why would they put 69, 81, 710? That must have meant car. They don't even mention the D21 or 720 on here, which does label. All the instructions tell you is what way to put the nipple, which can spin around, by the way. You can put it anywhere you want. But look at this. I just noticed it actually comes with two washers that are needed. I've already put two washers on one side, so. Typical shocks, they always come with all kinds of sleeves and adapters for all these different models. So I got one installed. I don't know if you can see this. Top bolt, stock, same. It's like whatever, stock size, stock bolt, washer. The bottom is where I had to get creative and add two washers in that sleeve. And I had to grind down those two little nipples for some strange reason. You can see this thing, you can aim this thing wherever you want. Hopefully it won't turn whack the frame on a bump. <laughs> Probably not. I'll just aim it straight back. But yeah, this sleeve is not connected to the upper eye like a normal shock is. And it's not connected to the lower one. So, uh, it's installed. Didn't have to bend these at all. This is the exact dimensions. So, uh, one more to go. Okay. So I just jacked up the truck so that all the suspension is drooped just like I thought. The shock is a little bit shorter than the down travel. 
So the shock does limit the down chow just like an eighth of an inch. So where is it? Where is it? Just me. <laughs> it's like an inch short. That's fine. I knew that going in because this is a tool dart truck and I'd rather uh, cut this bump stop and get a little more up travel than get down travel. Because I love the height. It's perfect height. Here's a good reason why I'm doing this. That's the bump stop hitting the frame up there. My finger. This thing bottoms out like crazy. Even with it empty, it bottoms out. But if I have, you know, if I could close to the payload capacity, was like a thousand pounds, twelve hundred pounds. I had concrete and wood. Bottoms out like way too much. So that's why I'm gonna try air shocks before I go to some airbags or something. Okay, I'm all done. I ran at both airlines. Over to the left side, because that's where the wiring harness was. I went across the tube, I connected the left to the right, and then I ran both together down the left side, following the wiring harness. Just gotta cut this and I'll be done. I just put in 25 psi, like it says. You need to have a minimum of 25. I noticed the back of the truck went up like half an inch, maybe an inch. So. Let's test it out tomorrow.